The workflow modes in 6-bit are where you're going to get all your work done. That includes the cell items mode, the check listings mode, and the ship orders mode. Each of the workflow modes have a very similar layout. They all have a ribbon bar across the top, and they have left and right sidebars, with the remaining space being taken up by a grid. This is the cell items mode, but let's take a look at check listings. Very similar layout. And ship orders, which has a similar layout. Now let's go back to cell items for a closer look. Let's talk about the ribbon bar first. The ribbon bar is where you're going to be able to perform all of the actions that you need for that particular mode. If the action pertains to particular records, you'll select the records in the grid and then perform the action. You'll notice that as I hover over each button, a little tooltip will come up to describe what the action does. Actions on the ribbon bar can also be performed by right-clicking in the grid. You may notice that some of the groups in the ribbon bar have a little arrow in the lower corner. This is a dialog launcher. Dialogs allow you to have more customization on a particular feature right where you're using the feature. In this case, we're opening up the Manage Item Templates window. You may also notice on some windows, in the lower left corner, there will be a Help button and a Video icon. These are to bring up the specific topics in the User's Guide or in the Video Library that pertain to a particular window. Now let's take a look at the left-hand sidebar. The left-hand sidebar is where you're going to choose what records are shown up in the grid. There are a couple of different ways you can do that. All modes will have a workflow tab. The workflow tab is how you move your items through the working process. An example here would be under construction is when you're creating your items, you're not ready to list them. Awaiting upload is when you're ready to list them. And then previously listed are for items that are, have already been listed. The items mode also has a repository. Repository is how you can organize items according to your own folder and category structure. And then finally, there's a views tab. Views are simply saved searches that allow you to call up information at any point in the future based upon the search criteria. You'll notice that as I change any of the statuses or the views, it'll change the records that are showing up in the grid. The right-hand sidebar can be collapsed or expanded and is used to show more details about the current record. The current record is the record that's identified with the little arrow in the record selector. Notice that even if I have multiple records selected, at any given time there will only be one current record. 